so welcome to another video in this episode i'm pretty sure it's going to be all of my singles i'm going to first go through all of my potted ones and then i do have a couple of eyeshadow palettes which i'm going to also go through after this but i don't like how i have so much stuff don't really use it and it's just a waste so with this i kind of really want to make sure that i have everything that fits into this kind of drawer some of these i will keep into my everyday drawer but for the most part i want to have all of these contained into here now i don't know how much i'm going to be getting rid of but i'm definitely going to give this a shot um i guess we'll just start off by quickly taking everything out and then i'll put everything back in this pot that i know i'm going to keep so that's basically everything that i have out it's a lot of stuff and i also don't tend to gravitate towards um a lot of these i did forget them in sets so i got I think I got two, no, all of my super shocks were in sets apart from I think this one. Um, everything else I kind of get as part of a set. I've got a couple of other random ones, so um, I don't even know which ones. Okay, I'm going to start off with my Colourpop ones because they tend to be like the base of what I actually keep in here. Wow, I'll just start off with this one. So this is a, this is part of the Princess Collection. So anything that's got like a stamp like this one is meant for that. Um, I do quite like that shade that is quite nice I don't even know if you can see it yeah um, I'm just gonna swatch these I do like that a lot I'm gonna keep this I just need to actually try to gravitate towards these and stop trying to buy, buy more products um, <laughs> with these this one is a really nice kind of icy blue which first of all it's really creamy to touch but secondly it's actually quite nice this would work as a really good topper shade as well um which i do like because sometimes if it looks being too like i want like a bit more sparkle in it this this would be like a good kind of product to use got this one this is a really nice kind of um light green again because these are super shock shadows they are just so lovely and buttery to swatch i just love the formula of them um the bottom row of this tends to be like uh, like two and then the one on top of it has three um so i really do hope i can get rid of something this is so nice um just look at that it's actually really nice this would be more like a topper shade again um it would be nicer if it could be like more opaque but that's fine i've got this kind of green as well it's like more on the I, I'm kind of just lost for words because that's so gorgeous. Like, just look at that. Actually, this one I might not keep. I'm going to put that one to the side. So I'll just keep that one there. I've um, got this one as well. I think I've used this one before, but that's also really, really nice. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm trying to just do all the Disney collection first got this one as well now i'm not really a big fan of like gold eyeshadow i'll be honest so that one i think i'm gonna let go because i don't really like to use kind of gold on my eyes i've got loads of single shadows that i can use instead um i then have this is so nice it doesn't swatch that great though i think this is supposed to be with a topper shade but i don't know how i feel about that so i think i might actually let that one go um, this is supposed to be the shade Reflection. I've got this purpley kind of shade. This is quite nice too. But again, like most of these just seem like topper shades than something you can kind of use on its own. But that's a nice one. I do like that. Um, I think I've got two more of those ones. So let's see. I've got this one. This is more like a bronzy shade. I would, I would prefer like a bronzy shade over like a more gold, because coppery. I guess I would be copper. I would definitely keep this one over this one. Um, there, that one can stay. I think the lot. No, I've got one more Disney collection. This one is really nice, but it's so icy. Well, it looked a lot icier in the pan, but that's really, really nice. Why is it not focusing? There you go. That's so nice. So I can keep that. Um. And I think 
think the last of the, the Disney collection that I have is this ice kind of white shade. And I'm definitely going to keep that. This is going to be that topper shade that I use on top of everything. It's not the best, but I do like a shade like this, so that can stay. So I've definitely got stained from that bright green shadow, but that's fine. Now this leaves me with one of these, and I... Never mind. So this is one of the pan, um, Colourpop shadow. I actually have a pan in, which is really shocking for me, because I don't really pan things that easily. That's quite nice. I'm going to keep this one as well. Um, and I'm hopefully going to keep um, panning more of these. I have this one too. This is quite a nice one. But the formula of this is kind of like drying out. It's not as buttery as the others. But that's definitely a good shade. So I'm going to keep this as well. And then just stick that there. I've got this like a really dark kind of bronzy shade I don't I wouldn't really gravitate towards this one that often but I do like that I am gonna have a stick it into my maybe pile with that one I've got this blue in moon daisy which is an interesting shade if I'm being honest I do oh, I like that one it's not the best but I do like it so I'm gonna keep that as well then I've got this shade which is seek one. I should have really gone through all the names that I had earlier, but it's fine. I shouldn't have swatched it there. That's what that looks like. I'm gonna keep that one because that's actually quite nice. I really do need to start like a shop my stash and try to um, attempt anyway to use at least two super shocks or my single shadows every time. I've got let me go through all of the white packaging first actually. Let me just move this forward. Um, I got Secret Gardens, which it's not too bad actually. That's nice. I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, I love this type of shade. This would work really well on like a black base. I think that's so gorgeous. That's gonna stay. This is the shade Sailor. Um, I have this really nice green in Fruit Punch. Like, how pretty is that? I don't really think I've got greens like this, so that's definitely going to be a keep um, in all of my like 200 eyeshadow palettes, or close to 200. Um, and the last kind of white packaging I have is this one in the shade Chur, which. I think I'm gonna let that one go because I don't I really don't think I'm gonna use that shade like ever. Next up is a few this is one of their collaborations that they did with I think it was Animal Crossing. This looks like such a pretty shade. Yeah, that's so gorgeous. That can stay. This is the shade Balloon Pop, which I actually really like, so I can just go right there. And then I have Two of these from the Run, I think it's the Run Wild collection. No, it's not. I don't remember the collection, but it was one of um. It was a really nice like collection with a deeper kind of like a deeper palette. Um, that's gorgeous. So she can stay. This one's quite deep for me, and I don't typically go for any kind of colors or this dark but i do want to keep that because i don't think i have many like that in my collection again i do have to go through all of my eyeshadow palettes and then i can see if i do or don't have things like this um and my arm is pretty stained which is great um okay next i have the last of my kind of color pop collection these were both also part of sets so i'll go through this one first again i do not remember which set these were part of um that is really nice. I think I'm gonna keep that one. And then the other one in this set is this kind of pinky toned. That's gorgeous, that can stay as well. Just 
gonna wipe my hands off again. All right, then I've got the last of the collection from Colourpop. I do love this kind of cool toned pink. That's nice, that can stay. I know they're similar, but I'm still gonna keep that. Then I have that is so nice. I think this is also kind of similar to one of the other shades that I had, which I think is supposed to be this one, kind of similar. Um, but I think I am actually gonna let this one go and I'm gonna keep this one instead. Then I have this shade, which is like a pretty deeper pink, red. Okay, that looks more red than I expected. I think I'm gonna let this one go because I'm not really gonna use that either. Um, I'm gonna have a few of my other single shadows. I've got this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I think they've now become discontinued. But this is gorgeous. That is, I think the shade name is hypnotizing. I'm gonna keep this in my everyday collection because that's such a good one and done kind of um, product. Um, this one from Essence, and I was supposed to use this over summer and I never did, but it's such a nice kind of minty shadow. Like I do want to keep this one. Um, I have this single from Varium as well. I've never really used it, but it's more like on the deeper side. And to be honest, I only got it because it was on like sale. Um, it's not really a colour that I would gravitate towards, but I do want to try this formula out. So I think I'm going to keep it for that reason too. I have two of these because one came broken, which was this one. And the other one was meant to be like the replacement for it, which also was a little bit shattered. So um, I'll just use this one and see. That's so nice. I'm going to keep both of those because that's so gorgeous. Do I need both? No, I'm still going to keep it. Um, I've got two from Makeup Geek. Kind of spilling these everywhere that's what that looks like and the thing is i don't normally use stuff like this and i'm definitely not going to use that color so this can go the other one i have is probably like a bronzy shade and again i just don't think this is something i'm going to use yeah that is definitely not something i'm going to use because that's too deep and I don't really tend to go for like gold anyway, so this can also go to somebody else. Um, then I've got another loose pigment, pigment from Sleek. This is, these are like really messy, is the only reason I don't really like to use them. Um, this does look a lot nicer. Actually, that's kind of disappointing as well, I'll be honest. Let me swatch it again. Actually, never mind. That's actually really nice. I think I'm going to keep that one for now. But I do need to try to use this one more often. So I think I'm going to put it in into um, my everyday makeup drawer as well. And the last one I have of like the potted singles is this one from Charlotte Tilbury in the, in the shade Amber Gold. Which I have used a few times. Um, I'll just like... Watch it there. That's quite a nice shade. I do tend to use it every now and again because it's like an easy, quick shade to just throw on and kind of call it like call it a day almost. I do feel though a lot of the cream shadows they are very like they don't stay in place. They like that's the word. They crease up very easily. For that reason, I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying them. But it could also be because my eyeshadow, my eyelids are very oily. I'm going to keep giving this a go because it was quite expensive and I don't know if I bought this or I got it as a gift for purchase or um, in one of the advent calendars. It was something. I got it through somewhere. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep this but I don't know if I'd necessarily get more cream eyeshadow pots for that reason. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I initially got rid of these um, eight and then I did like a once over 
off camera I kind of swatched everything again and I decided to let go of these four so overall I'm keeping 26 and letting go of 12 which is actually quite good for me because I was not expecting to get rid of even a single product here um I'll see who I can pass it on to because some of these are like drying up some of these are still new and pretty good um so I'll just see if anybody wants them to be honest and just they can take it um but yeah no 26 and 12 that's for me it's really really good um this is all of my single shadows most of these are from makeup geek i've got loads from chaos dirt i think i've got almost all of their collections that they've released because they're such good quality eyeshadows and then i've got some old ones from revolution makeup um i got rid of a lot of my other singles that i had like a long time ago but i do have these i do want to go through them i also don't really use these as much because i just have so much like eyeshadow products so it's just I kind of want to condense this down a little bit so let's just kind of get started I've kind of split the pile into two I've got all of my Chaos Dirt collection here I'm definitely not going to get rid of anything this is their most newest collection they've released um, some of the shadows are kind of cracking but I just love the quality of their eyeshadows it's so good like I think I kept like a white shadow earlier, but just look at that. Look, look at that. That's gorgeous. I think I'm gonna declutter that old one, and kind of just keep the products from this collection. Are you seeing that? That's crazy. So all of these are gonna stay. When I got this collection, it did come in a palette, which is great because I can kind of move these around, but or keep them like this, which is really really good. So I'm gonna just keep this whole thing. It is literally not going anywhere. Um, I have another palette of Chaos Dot um, singles and that's what they kind of look like. I think these in this palette is two different collections but what I'm going to do is just move these out of this palette and put it into this Revolution one just because I want to um, use this palette to store some of my Colourpop shadows. So I'm just going to switch the palettes around and I feel like I, I just know they're going to release like another amazing collection so I'd rather have the space already um, and also I feel like if I am going to depot my Colourpop a lot of them are just going to fit into this and I kind of just want to keep it contained in this one like bigger palette from them so these are all staying they just move into a different palette and then the last one I have from Chaos Dirt is contained into here like like I don't think you guys understand how happy looking at this makes me like these are just so beautiful I'll swatch some of these for you so I'll swatch this kind of blue this purpley shade that's so nice I've got this like just look at this so nice like I'll do another one I'll do this like greeny kind of shade down here just absolutely stunning so that literally not going anywhere moved the chaos dirt into this palette off camera but i feel like i could probably fit one more collection in here i'll be honest so that's why i'm going to keep this open like this also i might just use this palette that i got from chaos dirt now as a way to like make my own kind of palettes but like in a in a format like this so i might like interchangeably move things out of here and yeah so next i'm gonna go through some of my like really random eyeshadows i've got this which i'm pretty sure is from old revolution um like palettes and plus some morphe ones in here as well like i've already repressed some stuff so this was supposed to be two different shimmers which i've repressed them together and actually these make a really nice eye look so i do like the look that i get so i'm kind of thinking of keeping these and trying to pan this as a palette even though i'm supposed to be panning another palette but that's fine these are going to be the four single four single shadows i'm going to work on panning this obviously will be probably one of the fastest ones to be used up. That pink's got a long way to go. The blue one, I honestly don't know. And this shimmer, like, it can go either way. So I'm going to keep all of those for now. I'll actually swatch these quickly for you guys. So that's what the pink looks like. That's a really nice pink, I have to say. Um, this is like a mix of like a purple and a pink, which is decent. Um, I've got this matte, which is just like that. And then this blue is that so i might keep you know do like that palette itself but 
I, I will see. Next up for my random shades, I've got these hair. So this was the pink I was talking about earlier, which I've pressed into the other one. And then I have these. Now, I kind of want to, in a way, I kind of want to just keep this rather than keeping like half a palette, less than half a palette. Um, so this, I feel like I can easily let go of that. I've got other much better quality shadows. Mint, I've already got another kind of mint shadow single. Uh, let me just find it quickly. So this is the one I have from Essence. This is the one I have from, I think, this is Revolution or Morphe. Um, this is like a satiny one, which looks like this. And then this is, okay, no, that's actually a lot better quality than that one. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I can just sit back with my singles. Um, I'm gonna see what this green looks like. Okay, that's so gorgeous, that can stay. That can stay. I love this like a neutral shade. Um, I think this is like a product I got from MUA and this was supposed to be the shade Mushroom. It's a really good kind of, that taupe kind of color. I do like that. So I feel like that can also stay. And I've got this one and I love, what was this Mushroom? I don't know, I think this is from the Morphe palettes. That taupe is gorgeous that can stay and then have this really gorgeous shimmer oops just look at that that is so nice i don't know which palette this is from this could be morphe i think most likely this is going to be a morphe shadow but i kind of want to keep those five including this it'll be nine okay i'm going to think on this and swatch it all off camera again okay so i've thought about this a little bit more and it's kind of frustrating because I really want to keep these four so I swapped out these two shades that I had and decided to let, go, let them go and I'm going to keep these instead so I'll put this as a palette that I'm going to try to use up and then I also want to keep these three shades up the top because they are really really nice and I decided to let go of these so these are going to be the four pounds that I'm going to let go of that's what I'm going to keep I'm going to keep this palette like this and kind of see where I can maybe move these three shades into. I might have space in my Makeup Geek or my Chaos Dirt palette. I'll have to have a look, but I, I just can't let those go because they're really nice. I'm left now with some Makeup Geek um, singles that I have. So I bought this tiny palette from Makeup Geek and I do love a good like green moment and I love the quad that I made. So I'm gonna keep this as it is and I'm not even gonna bother swatching these because I know I'm gonna keep it. That can stay. Now this palette I absolutely hate for the reason you can't fit. Okay, that was really unexpected. Um, I don't really know what to think about that. That was actually nice brown as well. Um, okay, interesting, interesting. I don't like the way this palette is because as you can see there's wasted space at the bottom, wasted space at the side. You can't even fit one of their like face, like a cheek product, like a highlighter, bronzer or like a blush. You can't fit two of them in a palette and you can't, you can barely fit one of them and then fit in like five singles but it's still wasted space. So I don't like that compact and for that reason I'm going to let it go. I am going to swatch all of these shades and see what I want to keep. That decided to break. And I don't necessarily know if I want to go through the hassle of kind of fixing this up because it's a pretty neutral shade. Like I'm sure I have it in other palettes so that can go. Um, and unfortunately that's made so much mess as well. Um, I'll take these out and swatch them and if I want to keep them I'll keep them to the side. That's a nice green, it will be a really good like liner moment so that can stay. I've got this like rusty orange. I do love a color like that to be fair. That's so nice, that can stay. Just gonna... So I've just zoomed out a little bit. So hopefully this uh, is a bit more better. Um, I've got this one, that's nice. I'm gonna keep that as well. Um, Cause I don't think I have a lot of those like really dark colors that I've just swatched. Especially not like green. Um, I've got a couple of green palettes and I don't remember having a colour like that. I have 
it's like a really down like dark color i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a dark gray or something it says smoke signal but it's kind of like on the patchy side i'm gonna get rid of that one i've got this random single that was sent to me by uh i can't remember the brand but it's an Australian makeup brand and they've got like some amazing products. If I can remember the name of it, I'll like add it up somewhere. But I got this and honestly, it's such an amazing colour. That's going to stay. Um, got this kind of like mustardy colour. That's quite nice. I'm going to keep that too. This is another really deep colour. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna end up using this. This is tape for granite. I'm gonna keep this for now and then I'll kind of see. Um, and I've got this one here as well, which is quite unique to my collection, I suppose. I'm gonna keep that too. The last start from Makeup Geek is this like palette that I made um, with a bunch of the shades. And then I added in two of the face products in here because I just felt like it made sense to have it like this um for the reason and i had a good reason for at the time is because i wanted a palette like this however i also then realized i only want my singles to be as singles and any face products to be in a separate palette so what i am going to do is take these out and i'm going to make a separate face palette of these i'm sure i've got a small a smaller palette i can put these in and i'm going to go through these shades and see if there's anything i'm gonna let go of <laughs> So, I'll just start from this side. I feel like that makes sense. Um, I'm going to keep that orange because that's actually quite nice. I just need to get my towel. That was, like, look at the state of that. It's so gross. But I'm going to keep that orange because that's nice. I do love a good, like, burnt orange moment. That's a really bright orange. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, oh, I just don't know that again is really bright and then I like the way this palette currently looks because it kind of all has like a family that it kind of goes into like each row is kind of color coordinated in that sense so it was, even though I do like that I think I'm gonna let this one go it's too bright and I don't think I'm gonna use something like that then there's this I don't like that one actually that can go I'm gonna keep the orange in case I decide to do any kind of crazy looks that require that Next up is a next row. I highly doubt I'm going to use any salmon colours, but I don't think I have many others. So I'm going to keep that one. Like that particular pink, again, not something I think I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to let go of that pink because there's no way I'm going to use that. The salmon. I'm going to let go of as well because I know I'm not going to use it, so there's no point. That's a nice... Um, color I would use that more for like an eyeliner moment so that can stay and then I have another like kind of like bright pink that's very like Barbie pink so I'm gonna keep that as well fresh arm I'm gonna go through some more so I have this pink which I just I don't think I'm ever gonna go for something like that but I am gonna keep it for now because a very light pink and I can use it as like a transition set shade I guess I've got this one that's quite a nice pink so I'm gonna keep that on um, that's a nice pink as well and then the last one is like that that's, that's a nice shade I'm gonna keep that too so that can all stay um, I've got another row of like pinky purples I guess that's nice. I've realised you guys can't you guys can't even see the swatches. I've got that one. I'm gonna just move that to the side and bring this here. Um this one can move over. Then I have this particular shade. That's a really nice lilac. I'm gonna keep that one. Then I've got this kind of more deeper purple. That's nice. I'm gonna keep it for now. Really has to think on that one. And then there's this one. I do like that shade too, so that can stay. Then I have some more purples to go through. I've got this shade here, which is definitely not something I'm gonna go for, so that one can go. I've got 
got this purple shimmer shade which is nice but i just i don't think i'm gonna really use it that much but that can go i've got that purple there and then i've also got this purple here so i'm gonna keep this one i'm gonna let this one go got this shimmer which i really do love that is so stunning I then have this blue, that's quite nice, I like that, I've got this one, these are kind of more on the patchy side, I have this, this blue can go, I'm never using that one, um, this can definitely stay, I'm going to move that over there, these are more on the patchy side, I want to swatch this again, I mean sometimes they do swatch a lot more patchy but i'm going to keep this one as well and also probably keep this one too though they do look almost identical i'll have to try these in the eyes and see how that goes ignore that atrocious swatch so from a makeup geek i'm keeping this quad because it's just perfection together i am also keeping this palette i have adjusted this a little bit and i know previously i did say that i wanted to keep my face product separately however however i actually decided against that because the only single face product i really have is the products from makeup geek so there's no point in me making another palette this being half empty and this not being able to fit into the smaller size magnetic palette that i have so for now this is what i'm keeping um this is just like the random product i decided to keep in here because it kind of makes sense and because there's so many mattes i feel like this would go really well with a lot of these colors um the one blush and this highlighter in um so that's the key and then without making more mess here is everything i'm letting go of um that's a lot of eyeshadows actually considering i wasn't really planning on letting go of anything from makeup geek so yeah i'm gonna just kind of sort this out quickly and then show you at the end what i'm actually letting go of and keeping first up i'm getting rid of two makeup geek palettes these are both empty now i've taken everything out i don't like not being able to see through the products so they're both gonna go um and then i'm actually letting go of 16 single eyeshadows plus an empty pan um i'll see what to do about these like makeup geek singles i might destroy them might see if somebody else wants them really and just kind of give it to them but that's what i'm letting go of which for me is a lot that's 16 in here crazy and then for the stuff that i'm keeping so it's these four singles from morphe and revolution got these here from chaos dirt's new collection i've got these also from chaos dirt and the three randoms i'm gonna keep in here for now and i've got this full palette of chaos dirt as well but just look at that that's so stunning i kind of want to sit down one day and kind of make these color coordinated plus cool tone and tone i'll have to do that on a complete other day um i've got this quad i'm keeping from makeup geek and then this palette as well from makeup geek and i think this looks a lot better now just up i'm keeping 99 single shadows in the powder pan and I'm letting go of 16, so that's definitely an improvement. At least I'm under the 100 category, and hopefully when I do use some of these up, um, I can decide whether I want to keep them, let them go, and hopefully pan some of these as well. 